What's going on, beautiful people? I hope all is well. I did go ahead and get the uh, block painted, the front cover painted, the oil pan painted, and the rear cover painted. Didn't uh, record that or anything. Didn't see that as being anything interesting uh, to view. But I do have a few takeaways that I want to share with you. Uh, first off, is uh, when you're putting your bouncer on, have the uh, bolts for the front cover loosely uh, in place so that as you're putting the bouncer on, it helps to center up the uh, center up the uh, front seal and the front cover. Also on the uh, rear cover, uh, I noticed I use some uh, fail pro gaskets. I noticed that on the rear cover that the uh, the seal already had some type of uh, oil grease or something on it. Uh, I believe that was from the uh, manufacturer uh, so I didn't have to add anything on that um, also before you put the oil pan on be sure to put some uh, RTV black RTV at the uh, parting lines where the uh, front cover meets the block so that you don't have any uh, oil oil seepage uh, there's just cheap insurance you're already there you see it Let's go ahead and put the RTV on there. I'll require just a little dab in each four corners. And uh, that'll take care of that. Um, one thing that I noticed on the uh, on some of these uh, LS engine blocks, people leave the oil lever, oil lever, let me get it right, oil level sensor in place. I found something that, that would uh, replace that. To replace the oil level sensor i found this uh doorman uh plug here it's actually a drain plug for something i can't remember what it what it was but the uh, part number is 090-040 cd uh and this will thread in to the side of the block where that oil level sensor used to go it does come with a seal to go over there but I'm gonna uh, put a little black RTV on the thread so uh, I don't have any oil seepage little black RTV on the threads. Like I said, just to minimize any oil seepage. This gets rid of that oil level sensor and the uh, oil pan. Just tighten it up snug. I didn't go too tight on it. The RTV will seal up the threads so we don't have any leakage. No leaky leakies. All right, so I got that sorted out. I did order a new drain plug as well. Uh, for some reason, I don't know what happened to my uh, my drain plug. Uh, I bagged and tagged, and I guess I just uh, put it someplace where I can't find
right, that's that. Um, I also picked up a new um, oil cooler bypass cover. Let me out. Picked this up from uh, ICT Billet. Once again, I guess wherever I put my drain plug, that's where I put that uh, bypass cover as well. I guess they're hanging out someplace together. So, no big buff. Uh, this comes with a new seal. Pop it in there. Let me get you repositioned. Did put a little oil on the seal. That looks pretty snazzy right there. Let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm not sure what the torque spec is on this. I'm just going to go eh, a little tight. Probably 100, 106 inch pounds, something like that. That should get it. So get it there. Check that out. Check that out. Ah. Man, that looks nice. I did go ahead and pre-soak my, my lifters. Now, some people say you shouldn't soak the lifters. Some people say soak the lifters. I chose to go ahead and soak my lifters. Once again, peace of mind. Now this uh, drain back plug, I'm facing it to the inside. I don't know if it matters or not, but I'm going to have all of them facing the inside. That's that. They're located in the uh, lifter trays. So, uh, just have to do that for the other three. All right, we're finishing up putting the uh, head on. Heads, I'm sorry. Uh, I did go back and chase the threads that I could, that I could. Um, basically, I, I was only able to do the ones at the top here. I uh, got to have a longer, longer uh, thread chaser to get down to the inside the block.
got to lube up the bottom bottom of the bolts as well. Now, if you plan on using some ARP studs or bolts, go ahead and open up the package and find out what socket you're going to need to uh, to put these down. I had to stop what I was doing yesterday because I didn't have the uh, correct socket and. and I have uh, plenty, plenty of sockets, but ARP requires 12-point sockets. I don't normally purchase 12-point socket sockets because I rarely have a need for them. According to ARP, you got to torque these things down in four steps. First at 25, then 50 foot-pounds then 80, then the smaller boats at uh, 28 foot-pounds. Thank you. 